Hey, hey, hey. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. De no, we are not in December. <laughs> January 3rd. I hope that you are enjoying your new year thus far. I hope that you are also enjoying this time of fellowship and prayer. Hold on. I match my couch. This is, this was not planned. Can't make this stuff up. All right. Anyway, so I hope that you have been enjoying and that you're participating in the prayers. Today's focus point on finances, wealth, prosperity. Finances, wealth, prosperity. I don't want to talk about moolah, baby. Okay, who doesn't? So before I get in here, I strongly encourage you to watch the video from day one because that video consisted of repentance and then just some deep prayer for a good 16 or so minutes that you should repeat audibly okay and it also consisted of accepting jesus as your lord and savior and by accepting him repenting as well as doing some of the other prayers you are entering into the presence of god with thanksgiving on your heart but also as a born again believer you are entering in with less of you and more of the holy spirit you're doing the work you're at least acknowledging you're being honest you're operating from a place of integrity so i would definitely encourage you to go and watch day one which the title is foundational repentance and prayer for 2024 you can watch that thing all year long if you want to so without further ado we're going to enter into the presence of God with thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you made. We thank you for allowing us to see it. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, which is anew and it flows afresh on us every single day, every minute. Thank you for keeping us from the car accidents. Thank you for allowing us to make it to work on time and, and back home safe and sound, nothing broke, nothing missing. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Transportation and just keeping us in the shadow of your wing as your word says for we are the apple of your eye and therefore you hide us in the shadow of your wing so thank you for being the present thank you for never changing on us for you are the same today yesterday and forevermore thank you for your word that is alive true and thank you for hearkening your ear to our petitions and our prayers as we humbly come before and we seek you Lord, your word says in Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 11, May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times more and bless you as you promised you. So I pull to me, I attract to me, I call to me, I summon to me, I petition to me, I decree and declare to me that the thousands, the increase, that you spoke over my ancestors, that you gave way and promised to my ancestors is appearing in my life in an easy way. I thank you, Lord, for your word in Numbers chapter 24, verse 7, that says water will flow from buckets and his seed will be by abundant water. So I thank you that my seeds, everything that I've planted, all of my ideas, all of my works are seeded and are planted by a flow of water. And I should reap the harvest of my prayers. A thousand times I thank you for your word spoken in Psalms chapter 1 verses 2 through 3 which reads I delight in the law of the Lord and I meditate in it day and night so may we be found meditating on your word day and night studying and reading it and may we be like a tree planted by the rivers of water bringing forth abundant fruit in the season I thank you that we are entering to the season of spring and may our blessings spring forth my leaves do not wither and whatever I do prosper so I thank you that this word shall come to pass and it is not falling on to dead ground father that every bit of my giving that i've done every bit of my giving that i am doing may my prayers and my acts of charity have ascended as a memorial offering before you lord god i thank you lord for your word in isaiah chapter 43 verse 19 which reads look i'm about to do something new even now it is coming do you not see it Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness rivers in the desert. I thank you for making a way. I thank you for providing me with rivers in the desert. I thank you. 
for the something new that is coming. I thank you for the something new that is already brewing in the background. I pray that you will open up my eyes so I have a discernment and an understanding and a seeing and a sensitivity to the newness that is coming forth in my life, that is springing forth in my life. Your word says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4, that lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. I thank you that my hands have been found diligently working, okay, diligently working, and therefore I will reap the benefits of wealth. And whether that wealth looks monetary or it looks like long life or it looks like health or it looks like continued grace or it looks like an abundance of favor, I receive that now. Your word says in Matthew chapter 21, verses 22, whatever we ask in prayer, you will receive if we have faith. Whatever we ask in prayer, we will receive if we have faith. And I have faith. We have faith. I have faith that what I have spoken, what I have laid at the altar of the almost mighty God shall and will come to pass. Because your word says in Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 through 11, for just as the rain and snow fall from heaven and do not return there without saturating the earth and making it germinate and sprout and providing seed to sow in a food to eat. So my word, the word of the Lord that comes from my mouth will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I please and will prosper in what I send it to do. So I thank you that your word prospers in my life as it is pertaining to wealth, finances, and prosperity. All right, y'all stay tuned. We have four more days, four more days in this abundance prayer, the seven day prayer that we are petitioning and putting forth and let me say this to those who are fasting because i know a number of people start the year off in a fast do not share when you are fasting the word speaks against that do not make your face out like you are fasting do not tell folks oh i'm hungry oh i'm tired oh i'm whatever because i'm fasting don't do that but fast with thanksgiving Make sure that you are intentional about giving to someone less fortunate, a transient, also known as a homeless person. Make sure that you are meditating in the word during this time and that you don't find yourself just starving for an X amount of days because you haven't done the work of repentance. You haven't done the work of being thankful. You haven't done the work of being kind and gentle and giving on to someone who cannot give to themselves and they cannot return it back to you. Therefore, giving from a pure place. All right, so stay tuned and God bless.